Hi, friends. Okay. We are going to add the icing to our cake, which is our face. Okay. I know y'all like my titles. Um, but when you do your foundation, a lot of times you end up with this one color sheet of paper kind of thing because we want everything to flow and match. So sometimes when you add some color in, it just really, really um, accentuates your face. We can use it to make things look larger, things look smaller. So I love adding some color back into where I have evened all my skin tone out with my foundation. So we are going to add our icing to the cake. If you're watching this part, you're probably watching the replay, hashtag replay, hit the share button, hit the like button, all those wonderful things that I love that y'all do. Hello, mother. I see you hopped on. So I've already got my foundation on. I did use our VFX primer and our BB cream and I threw my brows on. Here come the kids. Can you hear them? Sounds like a herd of buffalo. So we're gonna add color. We're gonna use our Sculpting Trio eyeshadow and a lip because you know anytime you got to cheat on it is dying for that perfect lip i'll be in there in a few minutes okay no baby no no baby no no not right now go play yeah i don't go play for a few minutes okay so this is our sculpting trio this is what i'm going to use today um, I'm not going to use blush or anything like that. Not everybody's a blush person. I know I love blushes, but I want to show you just our sculpting trio and what you can do. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to come in here and these browns are two different tones and you can use whichever one you like. You can mix and match. I'm actually going to use the lighter brown on my forehead today. So I'm going to kind of contour out with this palette. And I like to use the lighter brown on my forehead to kind of add some color and depth. Shrink my massive forehead a little bit. <laughs> I just can't get on the bang bad bandwagon. I just cannot put bangs back in this hair. So we contour to create the illusion of a smaller forehead. And I like to use the darker brown. If I'm going for a really, like a more dramatic, more glitz and glam date night kind of look, I'll go with the darker. But just for every day, I really like going in with the light. So we're going to meet in here. I'm going to go across my forehead. I go about the width of the brush. Depends on the size of your forehead, how much you want to go. If you don't have a very large forehead, you may want to skip this all together. Um, a medium one, you may just want to go just a little bit. So then we're going to take it and I'm going to dip into this darker color. And you can kind of see already where the shadow is. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of go right in that shadow. I'm going to make my cheeks look a little bit smaller. Just really just want to break up. Do you see the difference? Lord, it's going to be one of them days. I tell you what, Dawson has her like yearly doctor's appointment Thursday. Y'all just whisper a prayer for me because that is going to be a trip. I've, we've been trying to talk to her about it and work her up to it. And she has just, nope, 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 nope. We're like, oh, it's like Doc, you know, get you a checkup, see how big you are. No, no. So I'm looking back in with this lighter shade. I'm going to pinch my brush down and I'm going to run it just right here off the bridge of my nose. Hey, Crystal. It's going to elongate your nose and make it look slimmer. You can also, if you don't really have a point to your nose, like I, my nose naturally kind of comes up. If you don't have that and you want that, what you can do is right here, 
where the tip of your nose is, if you will bring that shadow right across that tip, it will give your nose the illusion of that swoop with just a little bit of powder. Okay. I'm just going to run back over it. But it just makes a difference. It just gives your face some, some depth, some dynamic. All right, but now the fun part, eyeshadow. We are using warm, not warm tone, we're using coffee brown and vanilla diamond today. Let's see. This is our coffee brown. This is our vanilla diamond. Both very pretty. These are gonna be our shades for the day. So I'm gonna take my coffee brown I want to take a kind of fluffy brush and this is what I'm going to use in my crease and my outer corner. When, when you're trying to do it and you come and you do this motion right here and you see how mine is starting to blend. If yours is skipping or it looks heavy in one spot and lighter in the other, the secret to fixing that is going to be your brush. Um, Eyeshadow brushes is where I would spend money. I would invest money in eyeshadow brushes. You don't need to invest a whole lot. I mean, you can find a decent set for 15, 20 bucks, but really get a good blending brush, a good fluffy brush, and then get a brush that you can use that's put them back. That's going to be a little bit, it's going to be flat, a little bit firmer. The bristles are going to be a little harder to move around. So to get you, make sure you have those two brushes and I promise you that will change your eyeshadow so, so much. So coffee brown and I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. You also need to take, if you see a look that you like, you also need to take into consideration how much lid space you have, how much space you have between your lid and your brow like do you have room to do all that some people have very large eyes other people have a lot smaller eyes or their lids are a lot smaller so you may not be able to do the same look that you're seeing and if you're struggling that may be why like she's in the bathroom playing with everything I'm not what are you doing And I'm blending as I'm going, so I'm taking little small circles. And I'm holding the brush back. I'm not holding it up here doing this. Slide the brush back in your hand a little bit and let the brush do the work. I always get this side higher. Always. Okay. Coffee brown. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit flatter brush and I'm actually going to take our setting spray and I'm going to spray it because I want the vanilla diamond to really show. So vanilla diamond, take my brush. I'm going to pack my brush and then I'm going to press it in. I'm going to say to the inside And I'm going to pull it into that brown. And I'll wet my brush because I really want the shimmer in this vanilla diamond to show. If that's not your goal, you don't have to wet your brush. You can also use water. You can use rose water. Um, anything like that. You just don't want to saturate your brush. Like you don't want to just hold it under water. Just dip it in, dip it, pull it back out. I'm come over here and do the same thing over here. And y'all know if we are wearing cheetah, we are going to do a red lip. We are going red today. I swear to you, it just cries for a red lip. Does it not? <laughs> Okay. 
I don't. I feel like red can be scary to some people, but don't let it be because it's so pretty. The secret to red is a lip liner. I will tell you that. The secret to wearing a red lip is a lip liner that will keep it in place. I'm not dipping my brush back in any colors. I'm just going to come back and catch the very edge of this, these two and blend them a little bit and call it a day on that. I'm going to take a little brush, dip it in my coffee brown. Hey, Lexi, come hand me that brush. Come here. Will you grab that brush? Thank you, Please baby. Talks. Thank you. I'm going to take my little brush, dip it back into my brown. I'm going to bring that brown under. Not a lot, just a little. And y'all, everything that I'm using, you can find on my website. I'll drop it in the comments in a few minutes. Okay, it looks a little crazy. Just go with me. Just take the journey with me. I'm going to take a black eyeliner. I'm going right on my lash line. Super simple. Same thing up here. I'm not going real heavy. Bam. I fixed my little boo boo. We'll blend it out with our mascara. Lexi, put all that back. All right. Zen Mascara. This stuff is amazing. It's amazing, y'all. $8.90. Perfect. You cannot beat it. Zen and Optimal are my two favorites. I go back and forth with them. Zen's $8.90. Optimal is $10.90. And y'all know I pay half of that. I don't even pay that full price. And y'all can get a half, too. Look at that. I have no lashes. Like they stink and my lashes are pretty light. My hair was super blonde and now like my natural color is like a dirty blonde. So my lashes are in that realm too. My hair used to be as light as Lexi's. I miss that. Now I have to pay for that. <laughs> So the Zen Mascara one is double-sided, so we want to make sure that we use both sides. So take the one, and you can actually twirl it. If you have trouble with that, with twirling it, you can actually go through, run it through with one side, and then flip the brush over and get the other side, so that you get the benefits of both. What, this? what baby? Yeah, this wing. Not right now. It's cool. Put it back. I forgot to put it up earlier. It's on my toe. She put my ring on her toe. And then I dropped it. We have a busy week this week. But I'm so looking forward to it. Hey, mommy. Outside of Dawson's doctor's appointment. That I'm not looking forward hey, to. Because that is going to be a nightmare. I show your beard. I don't paint your nails. I show your beard. Okay. Lexi doesn't care. She doesn't care if we go to the doctor. Like, she doesn't mind. She's, she'll just jabber away. And Dawson is the complete opposite. She screams. She cries. You would think I took her there to, like, chop a limb off or something. And all they're trying to do is, like, see how much she weighs. So, I have to get on the scale with her. And then I have to get on the scale myself and see how much I weigh. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to know how much I weigh. Mm -mm. Okay, Red Love 
and our red lip liner in 206. If you do a red lip, I'm telling you the secret um, is a lip liner. Sometimes red is one of those colors that can bleed. Um, if you deal with that, if you have oilier skin or if you have a lot of fine lines around your lips, use a lip liner. Let's see. I had never, ever used a lip liner in my life until I started doing this. I didn't know that was a thing. When I say I literally had no idea what I was doing, I really had no idea what I was doing before this. You do not have to have like this wealth of knowledge to do this. Okay, look, we're going to line. And then we're going to go in. I am in love with this red. It is like the prettiest, truest, pure red that I've seen. It is true red. It doesn't have that brick tone to it. it I mean, it doesn't have a pink tone. Like, it's red, and I love it. So, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to drag my brush against the bottle when I pull it out. Lip liners still scare me. No, Crystal, lip liners are gorgeous. Okay, and you can use lip liners as eyeliners. You can use eyeliners as lip liners. Like, mix it up. Oh, uh, I love them. And it's a great way to, if you see a lip liner color that you like, just throw that lip liner all over your lip like an actual lipstick. It's not going to budge. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and if you want it glossy, add um, either the lip sparkle or add the lip plumper on top of it. And it's so pretty. So take your red. Pop them together. Take your brush. Take the tip. Make sure you get it all filled in. Now, the secret with the red is do make sure you get the corners right here. Get your corners. Don't go too far in because that's how it's going to get onto your teeth. Nobody wants that. Um, typically, reds will make your teeth look whiter as well. But how pretty. And it's not going to go anywhere. It's already drying. I'm going to pop a little bit. I just love it. How pretty with the cheetah. Ta-da! Super simple. Eleven ninety for these lipsticks. You can get so many different colors in them. Lip liner is six ninety. So I used Red Love and I used lip liner number two hundred six, which is our red. Gorgeous. I am in love with this. So. Any of these products you can find on my website. I do bulk orders every Sunday if you want to get in on that, which means you get free shipping because I pay the shipping. Um, I add your order in with mine, and I cover the shipping and ship it back out to you when it comes in. Let me know if you have any questions. If you need a color match, if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, if you actually want to sit down and touch and feel and see the makeup and try it on and see how it feels on your skin and what you like before you make a purchase, I am doing one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm super excited about that. I'll probably carry that on into um, the middle of November. And then usually I kind of take a break for the holidays because it's just so crazy. But I am more than happy to do that. If you want to host a party, we can do that. When you host a party, it does come with rewards. Um, and we can do that at your home. And we can do them indoor or outdoors now because the weather is finally starting to cool down a little bit, which I'm kind of thankful for. But we're going to the beach this weekend. So I'm like, I need a little bit of warmth because I'm not getting in that ocean and it being cold. Mm -mm. Keith can do it. <laughs> but if you want to have an outside party, that way everybody can kind of social distance and we can still enjoy everything, we can do that as well. Um, just send me a message and I'll tell you what kind of the hostess rewards are and stuff like that. 
Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you will hit that special little S-H-A-R-E button, the sprinkle button, and share it with your friends um, and hit the like. Thanks for watching, guys.